Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a how I lost 1.5 stone video, just kind of tips, things that I did. Obviously I did follow Alexandra's happy body plan if you know and have been following my channel. I did follow that for a while. I am going to do an entire kind of roundup video based on that next week and based on my experience with that because this video is tailored to sort of what I learned along the journey and what I sort of what advice I would give to people and what advice I do give to people if they're looking to lose weight if you aren't looking to lose weight or if you get triggered by the discussion of calories or anything like that then just don't watch this video because I talk about calories all the time I talk about exercise everything like I am really heavily into fitness and health eating now I find it really interesting and also this is how to lose weight in a safe way so this is the safe way of doing it you're not going to lose weight really really quickly it's going to be over a period of time but it's going to be safe and sustainable and you are most likely not going to regain the weight back again which is what a lot of people do a lot of people will go on mad diets and they will lose loads of weight in one go over a space of a few weeks and then after then they will then put the weight back on because they go back to their normal eating which you can't do the reason why you got to the weight you was is because you was eating incorrectly and you was eating too many calories so if you go back to that you're obviously going to gain the weight back so this is how to kind of lose weight but slowly healthily and steadily grab a cup of tea a coffee or a hot chocolate because this might be a chatty long video and i think that's enough of an intro oh by the way if you want to ask me any questions on instagram go ahead my instagram is linked in the description i do get a lot of messages from people asking about weight loss which is great if i'm slow at replying it's because i want to give a detailed response to everybody and i do have quite a lot of like requested messages so it does take me sometimes a couple of days to reply but i will get there eventually and if i reply quickly then be honored so let's get into the video anyway if you're wondering i'm not wearing any foundation today if you can see blemishes or anything like that i just wanted to try something new out so here we are but First of all, a little background story to kind of me, weight loss, everything like that. So I first decided that I wanted to lose weight in January. I'd gained a few pounds last year when I went to uni and I just felt like I, I needed to get back to where I was and a little bit less because the reason why I gained weight is because my eating habits obviously changed. When you sort of move somewhere else, you will change where you eat and some people lose weight some people gain weight some people stay the same i gained some weight and it's because i had no sort of education and no knowledge on nutrition on calories on exercise anything like that like i didn't understand anything I, I was just basically doing what i want i've always been the kind of person that can stick to things and i can work out every single day and work out exercise anything like that i could stick to and was fine it was more the food side of things that i didn't really understand and when you go to lose weight if somebody tells you that they've lost weight and they start talking about exercise that is not the key factor the key factor is always nutrition and food and how many calories you're eating because you can do all the workouts in the world and you can still gain weight if you're eating like a lot of calories so basically the key to weight loss is to be in a calorie deficit now i say that all the time but that's because that is it that's true if you're doing slimming world if you're doing the keto diet i know people that have been doing the keto diet for years and not really lost much and that's because they've not been in a calorie deficit you can do keto and lose weight and some people have great results from that and that's great and fine and it works because they end up putting themselves into a calorie deficit but if you are doing keto and over consuming on the items of foods that are not like carbs then you will still not lose any weight because you need to have that kind of calorie deficit you will still be you know feeding your body with enough food for it to just maintain and also with slimming world the way it works it kind of almost puts you into a calorie deficit but it's it's the reason why some people will follow slimming world and not lose weight is because they are overeating on certain foods that you are kind of sin free in a way and eating a lot so it does usually work for people though slimming world because usually people won't over consume on those items however some people will and that's why it won't work but if you just want to plain and simple sit down lose some weight and you know in a healthy way because you think that you want to then this is sort of the video for you so 
first of all, what I did, and this is after following Alexandra's happy body plan, I personally don't agree with the calorie um, amounts that that plan has set out. I think it's actually very low, and that's the reason why you see people getting results just like that, because it's quite low. It's hard to stick to, you've got little energy, and also the chances of you binging is quite high. So I don't agree with that. What I've done is, and what I've, a lot of people doing the plan have started to realize, is that what you do, you need to calculate your TDEE, -E, which is your total daily energy expenditure. Your TDEE is kind of how many calories you need to consume at your maintenance calories. So that is if you're doing, that includes exercise as well. So you have to sort of roughly estimate, do you do absolutely no exercise? Do you do a little bit of exercise? or do you exercise a lot and it will kind of take that into account and when you've calculated that value for example mine was 2100 and something which means that is how many calories i need to eat to just maintain my weight and to stay the same you can calculate this online go online do tdee calculator and you can calculate it very quickly it's based on your weight your height your age your exercise levels and it just takes everything into account so that's why everybody's is different some people's are really high some people's are quite low and um, if you're a smaller person then you will need less calories but that was my calorie kind of calculation number was 2100 then to lose a safe amount of weight which is sort of one pound a week subtract 500 from that value so if you mine then left me at about 1600 and something so that's how much i would need to eat every single day to lose one pound a week some people on the happy body plan were eating like 1200 and i did do that at one point which is not necessary because what i would do is i would restrict quite a lot and i would have my 1200 calories during the week and then when the weekend came i would have what i called a treat day and i would eat quite a lot of calories which was just pointless because you're just back tracking on you know what you've already done and all the work you've done i personally don't actually agree with treat days at all and i know a lot of people you know don't either so i don't like treat days anymore and i don't have treat days i will have days where i eat quite a lot of calories but it's not a treat day it's just a i'm with my friends being social kind of day and it's not necessarily a planned day or not something i really you know plan every week so i stick to sort of 1600 to sort of 1800 ish calories and that's like what I sort of have and go for and to lose one pound a week. Now, if I was to do that, and then on the weekend I had a day of eating loads of food, I wouldn't lose a pound because I would have, all of the deficit during the week would then be absolutely completely counteracted by the excess amount of calories on the weekend. So if you are gonna do this, you need to commit to it. It needs to be a lifestyle change. Don't binge loads of food. It will completely counteract what you're doing and just fit treats in within your week. So that's the calories I set myself to. I try and eat as much protein as possible. So eggs, meat, things like that. Like you try and eat high protein foods and high fiber foods so that you feel fuller for longer. And that's the important thing is you don't wanna be feeling hungry all the time because then you'll be thinking about food too much and you will be craving food too much. So you want high protein, high fiber foods. You also want to make sure that you're also having treats in there as well. So for example, after lunch, I will have half of a twirl. So like a, a twirl stick thingy, whatever it's called, chocolate bar thing. And it's just over 100 calories. That's a treat. I won't be craving that because I've had it and I can fit it within my calories. I will have things like Diet Coke, which I really like, which I consider a treat, even though there's zero calories in it. I will also have a pudding in the evening just before I go to bed. I'll have like a muffin and some low calorie ice cream. And for me, if I can fit that within my calories, that's really important. You don't want to go into a diet and completely change up your entire routine and eat lettuce all day long. You want to make sure that you can adapt it to yourself and what you eat and what you like because then you will stick to it. And the most important thing about weight loss and about dieting is being able to stick to it because there's no point in doing it if you're just going to stop carry on how you was, go back to where you was because you'll be stopping, starting, it'll be an endless cycle and it will be mentally draining. It needs to be something that remains. So that's what's important. Um, as you can probably tell, I am talking about 
food a lot because when it comes to weight loss it is the food the food is the main thing make sure that you are in a calorie deficit also the reason why fitness people and pts say don't eat back the calories you've burned through exercise because what people will do is they will have their like daily calories for example mine's 1600 to lose weight and for example if i did a run some people would say oh i'm gonna eat back those calories i burned through that run because it's just extra no because your tdee that you calculated already accounts for the exercise level that you do so do not do that because it's already accounting for that just stick to your calories and i think that's where people go wrong is that they eat back the calories burnt through exercise don't do that think of that as a bonus and think of that as already being included in your tdee very hard to say i always have breakfast it doesn't matter if you have breakfast or you don't but i just personally think it gets my metabolism going who knows i also have a coffee in the morning just kind of for energy and also i just look forward to it um always have my lunch at about one ish i then always have an afternoon snack a good afternoon snack for me is a bread thin so half of a bread thin which is 50 calories a little bit of low fat cream cheese and a little bit of smoked salmon i look forward to that every day i love that it's a great afternoon snack and just make sure that your meals are really kind of filling and full and don't snack too much if you are snacking on sort of high calorie items so for example if you have like a really low calorie sort of meals and then you snack a lot you will still be very hungry because chocolate bars crisps they don't have any sort of nutritional values they just have high calorie contents for like not filling you up at all so as you can see um when i've said eating 1600 calories a day will make you lose a pound for some people they'll think oh my god a pound that's like five pounds a month and i'll be losing like one stone over two months when in reality you might think that's a long time but if you are sticking to a really low calorie goal and then end up binging you'll just be in a cycle of just maintaining so if you restrict all week binge on the weekend you will just maintain your weight anyway so i think this is just a safe way to do it and it's a sustainable way to do it so you will um not go back to your old ways of eating also having such a long journey with it i now understand nutrition and foods whenever i look at foods even when i'm out and about i will see calories in them i will understand the calories in something and just sort of have a mental note of it it's not something that i kind of write down anymore i don't use my fitness pal anymore it's just a rough knowledge and as long as you've got a rough knowledge it's fine as long as you know that you're not over consuming by loads or under consuming by loads and that's fine because you don't want to under consume as well as you don't want to over consume by loads um every single day so yeah that's really important i don't actually count my calories at the minute i sort of roughly know like i just said so the night before i will kind of plan out my meals for the next day because i just like to stay organized and i just roughly know what's in each one and i roughly know it's between 1600 and like 1800 calories and i'm fine with that and i don't need to weigh things out anymore i weigh pasta out because it's just annoying when you just pasta just doesn't look like what it is you can easily like eat too much pasta if you don't weigh it out. So I weigh it out and I weigh oats out. But when it comes to things like vegetables or when it comes to sort of medium to low calorie items, I don't weigh them out. High calorie items like cheese and stuff like that, I do weigh out just because I like to know. Um, but yeah, it just means that I'm not obsessed with it and you don't become obsessed with calorie counting if you just roughly know. Because I think some people will have their like 1,000 600 calories and if they went over their calories by like 10 they would be like damn i failed i'm a failure my diet's done i'm gonna gain loads of weight and then they'll just be like oh like i'll stuff it i'll just go and eat a pizza and completely screw the whole thing so don't do that be sensible be clever if you was a pt talking to yourself what would you tell yourself in that situation? Pretend that you are your own PT. And if you was, had a client that you was talking to and giving advice to, would you give them the advice? Oh, if you've gone over your calories by 10, go and have a pizza. No, you wouldn't. You'd say, that's fine. It's only 10 calories. Carry on tomorrow. That's what you'd say. So just say that to yourself. Your mind can sometimes go against you. Don't let it. When it comes to exercise, so that's food. I'll do what I eat in a days on my channel but when it comes to exercise I literally just keep it very simple you don't need to do loads of exercise if you are already in a calorie deficit 
with the food that you're eating then you don't need to exercise loads and loads and loads also you don't want to become that person that has a donut and then goes and does a run because they want to burn off the calories from the donut you don't want to be that person because you don't want to feel like you have to burn off calories just because you've eaten something so what i do is just a 10 minute workout every single day just six days a week actually i do have sundays off exercise just to rest um not that i need it the exercise i do isn't heavy but yeah six days a week i will do a 10 minute workout off youtube i think monday's arms tuesday's abs wednesday's a bum workout thursday a thigh workout friday a leg workout and then i do do a lot of different areas on the legs and then i think saturday is a mixture of arms and abs so i just keep it varied and every single day or six days a week i will also do a 10 minute run which doesn't seem like a lot but it's 10 minutes of like quite high intensity running so that's like my cardio element each day so i've got my toning element with the 10 minute workouts on youtube and i've got the cardio element from the little run as well and i just listen to the radio and the people that i follow on youtube i will link them in the description i follow lucy windham reed i also watch rebecca louise's workouts chloe ting pamela reef i think is her name she's also really good so i'll link these people in the description um or try to link all of them it's always 10 minutes that i do um just because i keep it nice and simple so exercise is simple also try and get your steps up you want to make sure that you are you know walking as much as possible and that you are getting your steps in because you cannot underestimate the power of doing like steps and walking places you can burn a lot of calories from just walking to the shops from walking places that maybe you would drive i can't drive but trust me i notice a massive difference after i've been on a long walk if you can do one long walk like a five ten mile walk once a week you will notice massive differences and finally when it comes to kind of exercise is your NEAT. So N-E-A-T, let me just research exactly what that stands for. Okay, NEAT is, stands for, I've just researched it because I didn't know exactly what it stands for, but it stands for non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So basically, I know what it means, I don't need to know what it says. Um, what it is, is it's extra calories you burn from doing your daily activities so it's not specific exercise that you've assigned for example the 10 minute workouts or the run it's if i was hoovering around the house i would burn calories if i was dusting i would burn some calories if i was lifting things around and tidying i burn calories anything that you're doing that involves walking lifting doing anything is your neat so it's what you are kind of extra burning in the day so if you sit down all day and do nothing and then you do your 10 minute workout and you run and you're just lazy all day then that's okay but if you then compare that to a day where you're around the house staying busy cleaning things you know walking around walking everywhere you know running up the stairs instead of walking up the stairs and you're cleaning windows or you're hoovering or dusting mopping the floor cooking anything like that if you compare a day of doing absolutely nothing and sitting on the sofa to that kind of day and getting things done the calories you've burned will be so 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 much higher and that is the most important part the the calories you burn from doing daily activities actually plays a massive role in weight loss hence why people often struggle to lose weight if they have office jobs because they genuinely are literally just sat down doing nothing so i think that's something to bear in mind if you're the kind of person that's not necessarily the most productive person maybe try and just do a little bit more kind of things around the house and things that you think you don't need to do just do them it really helps so that's important and that is really a key main factor that i always say to people so i think that's pretty much everything it took me about it took me like a month and, and a bit to lose a stone and to lose the other half stone because i was more educated on weight loss and i wanted it to be more sustainable and i didn't want to have treat days that probably took me a couple of months because I was kind of adjusting to that. I spent a period of time of maintaining the same weight because I was just restricting myself during the week and then I would have a treat day and I would just I would just maintain the same weight. Whereas it needs to be seen as a long process. If it takes you a year, two years to get to your goal, that's nothing compared to the rest of your life. So you just have to bear that in mind. Nothing happens like that. And that's the important thing to remember that everything is a long process and it's a it's a sustainable process it's about keeping off that weight and keeping healthy you know 
and gaining muscle you want to gain muscle maybe i want to gain muscle so don't you know follow the scales religiously i rarely look at the scales anymore because i don't care i don't care what the scales say um to be honest i just look at them occasionally and i'm like oh yeah i've lost another pound great but i'm not addicted to the scales they will fluctuate so much water retention if you're on your period the scales can go up by like seven pounds but anyway i've been rambling on for quite a long time so i think the main points in this video is work out your tdee on an online calculator subtract 500 from that value to get your sort of daily calories you'll lose about one to two pounds a week on that exercise wise just a 10 minute toning workout from youtube or a 10 minute hit workout from youtube maybe a couple of runs a week will really help just to get that cardio in increase your um neat so the extra calories that you burn doing daily activities so hoovering things like that just anything that's extra calories burned through doing daily activities make sure that you're increasing that and that you are doing those tasks and things like that increase your steps i don't have a steps goal but just make sure your steps are good and you'll be good to go so there we go um hopefully i've included everything this is quite kind of straightforward simple approach to it weight loss is very simple and i think things like slimming world and things like that do overcomplicate it a little bit when it comes to sins but i think people have success from slimming world and other plans because it gives them something to follow they've got motivation and it's just a new kind of fun process whereas the way that i'm describing it is very simple and straightforward and people would just think well that's not going to work is it when actually it does so give it a try any questions message me on instagram thank you for watching this video please subscribe for more videos i am going to review the kind of alexandra's happy body plan overall final video next week and i will be doing more sort of why in a day so thanks for watching give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you in my next video goodbye <laughs>